everyone. Good morning. It is Easter Sunday and we are so excited to celebrate Jesus' resurrection today at our church in Banning. Um, hope you see Inland Empire. The boys and I are headed there right now. Sam actually left to get there this morning early at 5.30 and we decided to let the boys sleep in so that they're hopefully in good mood later today. So it's 6.15. We're a little bit behind him and we are on our way. I'm going to show a lot of everything that we're doing at our church here and then we're going to give some updates as to our church in Arkansas. <laughs> Hey everybody, we are here Sunday morning, Easter Sunday at Hope Unlimited Church Inland Empire. We are getting ready for our first of three services today. We cannot wait to get back to our family in Arkansas, our church family, and share everything that we've been able to, to gain from being here in California these past couple weeks. We love you all and we cannot wait to see you. This is the courtyard at Hope UC Inland Empire, and we do have a service starting in about 45 minutes, so we're getting ready to go ahead and start that. Happy Resurrection Sunday, Hope UC Arkansas. We are so excited that your pastors are here with us this week. We can't wait to meet you all very soon. Have a great day. Hi, Hi everybody. I'm Evelyn. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I hope you see Arkansas. My name is Caitlin. And I'm Dylan. We just wanted to say Happy Easter. We're sending our love from Hope UC California to you. God bless you. Bless your family. We hope you are well and we love you. Spicer, I'm part of the team that was sent out to plant the church in Arkansas. A lot of times uh, churches will talk about doing and a lot of times they don't, but this is a church that does very little talking and a whole lot of doing. Growing up, you know, you wanted all your friends to come to your house because like, man, we got the best food, we got the biggest TVs, it was awesome. This is our home. We want to tell people, hey, come to my house. I have something amazing for you and it's the love of a father. Jesus rose again so we could have the free gift so we could then give it. She runs and she tells uh, Peter and the disciple that Jesus loved. It's John. And whose book are we reading? And five times, well, four other times, in this same book, he's referred to, or he refers to himself as the disciple Jesus loved. Wherever you go, people everywhere know that John is the disciple Jesus loved. And it's only in the Bible five times. And it's only written by John. What if you just continued to remind yourself that you were the one Jesus loved the most. Yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise from the dead. I love this. For as yet the men that lived with him for three years who did miracles in his name, who knew what he liked for breakfast and what he didn't like for dinner, walked with him, slept with him, they still didn't get it. And if you read a good Bible where you see it says they did not know, there'll be a little indicator to go to the footnote and the footnote will say they didn't understand it it wasn't that they didn't know it they didn't understand it they had no revelation about what he was saying to them in John 16 7 he said it is to your benefit that I go away because if I don't go away the Holy Spirit will not come to you they didn't get it they're like how could you leaving be good for us people say well what if you're not in Christ I'm always in Christ well how do you know because I'm born again 
The second implication of resurrection is, number two, the resurrection of Jesus settled the law. I'm not anti-law. The law is perfect and was perfect only for the narrow scope of why it was given. It was never given so people could be good. It was only given so people would be guilty. It had to be met. So Jesus kept all the law, and when we receive him as Savior, now we're in Christ, and now we stand in that positional truth of being in Christ, and because he fulfilled the law on our behalf, now we have all the benefit of fulfilled the law. And nobody goes to hell for sin, because Jesus died for sin once and... So what do people go to hell for? For rejecting forgiveness. Hey everybody, we had an amazing Resurrection Sunday yesterday. We are now taking a couple days just spending time with family here in Palm Springs, California. It's uh, some beautiful weather. It's been a great time. Uh, we cannot wait to be back with you guys. We have a big announcement. And that announcement is that we're going to have in-person service in our home on April 25th at 10 a.m. So we can't wait to see you there. And if you want more information on where it is at, go ahead and shoot us an email at office at hopeucar.com or you can call us. Our phone number is on our Facebook page so you can access us that way as well. Or you can comment on this video too. Yep, there's a lot of ways to get a hold of us and get uh, some communication from us. So we will see you all very soon.